Apple IDs for students. Two different types and methods. DA and your parents work together to create accounts for students under 13 on August 1st of 2014. Parents create accounts on their own for students over 13 on August 1st of 2014. Why an Apple ID? The backup of the iPad to iCloud will help with restoring and not losing items. iWork has pages in Keynote and also will synchronize to iCloud.com so that you can log in there and edit. Allows find my iPad if it's lost or stolen. More and more we will be using iBooks which we can then purchase and send to you with an Apple ID. In addition, iTunes U courses are available and you can enroll in those. In the future we'll be able to send you install codes for apps so that you will be able to install them. Students under 13. You and your parents create an Apple ID for you with a link from Durham Academy and Apple Incorporated. You will create this Apple ID using your DA email address and a password that you and your parents decide to use. Do not share this information with anyone but your parents. Here's an example of a fifth grader's email address. For students over 13, we ask your parents to create an Apple ID for you. It should not be one that is shared with other siblings or family members. Your Apple ID will be whatever email address you and your parents used. The password will be the one you and your parents used. Do not share this information with anyone other than your parents. For students over 13, you and your parents may have set up a special school only Apple ID account using your DA email address. If that's the case, you will use your DA email address to log in to that Apple ID account. This is an example of your DA email address. Your password will be whatever you and your parents used. Again, you do not share this information with anyone other than your parents. Log in to iCloud on the iPad. Under settings, you will press on iCloud and then you will enter your Apple ID information. You will be asked to say OK for um, iCloud to use the location. This is needed in order for Find My iPad to work. While you're in iCloud, we want you to turn these things off. You do that by moving the button so that green is not showing. You'll turn off mail, contacts, calendars, leave reminders on, Safari you can turn that off so that it does not synchronize, notes you can leave on, keychain we recommend that you turn off, you can leave photos on, documents and data will be on, and of course find my iPad. In iCloud settings, we want to make sure that you have these turned on. Reminders, Notes. This actually requires an iCloud email address, so you do not need to turn that on. Photos, Documents and Data, Find My iPad. In addition, in Settings, where you see the list of apps, you will go to Keynote and make sure that iCloud is turned on. Do the same for pages. So again you'll be in settings, iCloud, and you'll press on storage and backup. Make sure that iCloud backup is on. When you're at home you can press backup now. The first time it backs up it will take longer than it will in the future. If you ever need to, you can go to iCloud.com and log in with your Apple ID and you'll have access to your pages, your keynotes, and any notes or reminders.